Okay, so the fourth one we're going to be now is a closed company surcharge. Okay, so our fourth consequence is a closed company surcharge. And what this is, if you want to write it in it alongside your box there, is to avoid directors keeping the funds in a company. Okay, so to, to avoid directors keeping the funds in a company and not distributing them. We're on page um, 9, page 8, bottom of page 8. Okay, so avoid directors keeping the funds in a company and not distributing them. Yeah, it's like, you know, the, it's like your case 3, 4, 5 and your schedule F. And if, you, if you have a lot of rental properties and keeping all that money inside there and not distributing it, See, so then if once it's distributed, the directors have to pay tax on the 41%, but definitely in the company, do I mean they avoid paying that tax? So this is to avoid them paying, do you know I mean, to avoid them keeping that money inside their. Yeah. It's forcing the tax out of It's forcing the tax out of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's eight steps to actually calculate it, and you just have to know these eight steps. Okay, so step one, you calculate the total income, including the current year. Uh, including the current year losses and charges and section 23 relief. You don't have to worry about section 23 relief and actually cross that out there. Okay, so you calculate the total income including current year losses and charges, but you exclude losses carried forward and back and chargeable gains. Okay, so you're actually looking at your trading income. Okay, if you want to make it simpler, your trading income less your current year losses and charges. That's basically what you're doing. Okay? And that's your, your case one and two. Less your capital allowances, less any current year losses and any current year charges. Then you calculate your estate and investment income, which is three, four, and five. Okay? Schedule three, four, and five. Okay, then in step three, you multiply step two, multiply by step one, so the amounts you get, so say you got 10,000 in step two, multiplied by 5,000 in step one, and then that's all over step one, excluding current year losses and charges. Okay, and get rid of section 23 relief again. Okay, so you're looking at taking your trading income, working out your trading income, working out your, your investment income, uh, multiplying your trading income by your investment income all over your trading income. Whatever figure you get there then, you deduct 25% tax. Okay, and the reason you deduct 25% tax is because on your case 3, 4 and 5, you would have paid 25% corporation tax on that already. Okay, so when you let that side it, deduct 25% tax, because 25% tax has been paid to the revenue already. <clears throat> then you add your franked investment income, which is your, your Schedule F, okay, because your franked investment income is not taxable inside the company. You get Jeff, sorry, yeah? What's the Frank, it, it's like um, you've got an Irish company gets dividends from another Irish company, <coughs> then they pay no tax on that income. It's just it's the name they find Frank Investment Income. Then you deduct a 7.5% 7, 7 trading deduction off of that figure you get. Then you deduct any dividend and distribution you've made, and that includes the ones you know for the expenses to participator, to those ones we're doing back along. And the interest of the participator for those ones we, uh, on the other surcharge ones we've done. And then you calculate the surcharge at 20%. And these little bits now, it's a hard new rich reading of that. So if you actually do the little example on the next, see the next, on the next slide there, we've got a little example. So a closed company is a closed company and has the following results for the year ended December 2014. 
Okay, it's got case one, case three, case five. It's got trade charges. It's got Irish dividend. Okay, and your Irish dividend is your franc investment income there. <coughs> And on the 1st of February, closed co, co paid a dividend of 12500 Calculate the closed company surcharge for them. Okay, so we'll just do all that little exam over there. Just need, you need a, a, a good long sheet now to do this one. Okay, and it's called closed co. Closed company surcharge. Okay, so step one. Okay, we need our case one, okay, which is our trading income. And we've got our trade charge off of it. Okay, so case one in this question is 80,000. And we've got trade charges of 10,000, which brings us down to. 70,000. Okay. Step one, calculate total income, including current year losses and, and charges, but then exclude losses carried forward and back and charge and gains. So, trade charges are always taken off of your case one. Okay? Like, if, you cap, if they give you capital allowances, you take capital allowances off of your case one to give you your taxable case one here then. Do you not add on your interest and your rents and all that onto? Yeah, the next one is, is to calculate, step two is to calculate your estate and investment income. So step two, we're going to get our investment income. As a step first line now. Okay, so 70,000 as step one. So step two now will be to calculate all your investment income underneath it. Okay, and that's your case three, your case four, your case five, but not your friend yet. Okay, it's only your case three, your case four, and your case five. So we've got, we've got case three, with no case four, we have case five. So case three is 25,000. Case five. Okay, and so there they've got case three interest. A company can actually pay to the bank to get their interest paid gross and no dirt taken off of it. And can you just write it out like that, like case three, because you don't have to put shit on the Oh no, that no, we read because they assume we've got a Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that gives us twenty five and fifteen is forty thousand, doesn't it? Giving us a total income of 110,000. Okay, so we've got our investment income here. So just investment comes like that. And up here we've got our, our trading income. Just when you're looking back, you know. It was a total income of 110,000. <clears throat> okay, so step three then, once we those figures worked out. Okay, we're going to take our step two, multiply it by <coughs> step one, and then step one including our, our step one excluding our current year losses and charges. So what you're taking in this one to <coughs> be your 40,000 okay, multiplied by, okay, and it's actually your total income you're actually taking here, your 100,000, sorry, 110,000. Why is it 40? It's not 70. Yeah, it should, it says, see step one there is actually, what I see, if you want to change step one there and put it, instead of step one, put in total income, it makes more sense. Calculate total income. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be your step two. Your step two is your 40,000 by your total income. That makes more, it make it easier inside there. 
Okay, so instead of step two multiplied by step one, put in step two multiplied by total income inside your little formula. Okay, and that's all over, okay, your step one, which is your total, right? just change that to total income now again. Okay, change step one to total income. Minus your charges. See there? Minus your current, excluding your current, your losses and charges. Okay, so if we look at that, it's our 110,000 our total income, isn't it? And we charge the 10,000. So we're actually going to add them back, so it'll be over 120,000. So this will be over 120,000. Okay, so we're taking our, we worked out what our trading income was, worked out what our investment income was to give us our total income. So now we're taking our investment income multiplied by our total income all over our total income and we're adding back our 10,000 euro worth of charges. Okay, and if we just work that out, 40,000 worth of that. It's pretty badly expanded that there, so it's like the point. It suggests that should be minus 10,000, does it not? Yeah, you're excluding it, so you're adding, do you mean? So it's an add back. It's adding back on the... You're ignoring it, so you're putting it back in. You're putting it back in, yeah. Yeah. It is, do you know what I mean? We, mm -hmm. I know, but they can make these things easier, easy. Just the way it's written is actually more uh, putting it off. It more sense, makes more sense out there. Yeah. And, and especially if you change the notes, instead of going step one, you change it to total income. At least you know your total income is your trade income plus your oh, okay. investment income to give you your full total income. So that gives you um, 36,667. Okay, so you multiply your 40 by your 110 and divide it by your 120. Which gives us 36,667. So what you're saying now is this much of income and is it should be distributed by right. Okay, we're looking at this. But we're going to take more stuff off it now as well. Okay, we're going to deduct the 25% tax that was paid. Okay, so I see step four, deduct 25% tax. Going 
quarter deduct a 7.5% trade induction.
district 29587. Yeah. Is that equally within 18 months? Within 18 months, yeah. Of the year end. So you'd always, if you were in, in, in the practice, you'd always watch the companies that have this to make sure that, you mean, they haven't, they have, they have to distribute it or they have to make a surcharge. And most of them actually just distribute it, just makes it, just take the money themselves out of it. pay their normal tax on it. Yeah, pay their normal tax on it. Yeah, yeah. So they would like hold if, if they were going investing in property or equipment? Yeah, they hold on to it, yeah. But most people just take it. Yeah, after that. So, and like, if you're making losses, do you know what I mean? You're going to have nothing because, do you know what I mean? You're going to have no trade and income here on top. Yeah. So you actually will have nothing to invest if you're making losses. It's only if you're making profits that actually come into to play. Yeah. So in practice, this would be a case for an awful lot of clients. Oh yeah, it would be. Especially, but like a lot of clients might not have high case 3 and case 4 and case 5. But they still have, they'd be close companies. They're close companies, but it, it's, it's your investment income you have to distribute. Yeah. Not your trading income, it's the investment side you have to distribute. And then you see the next slide there, um, there's no close company surcharge. Is payable if the surcharge income is two thousand euro or less, and if the income exceeds two thousand, there's margin relief. And don't worry about margin relief; just know it's there, okay? So if if the if you came down to the bottom and your surcharge was like, if your surcharge was fifteen hundred euro, there's no surcharge in because it's under two thousand euro. Well, if the, if the surcharge calculated is less than two grand, yeah, like with five million seven there, yeah. Was Two grand or less. And there's margin relief benefits. But don't worry about calculating margin relief. Just know it that doesn't come up. No. So if you go over to the next page, there's only one more rule now. Okay, that would be all our rules done. It's if you've got a, a service company. Okay, so a service company surcharge. So um it's professional, okay, from right over, this is for a professional services company. So if I'm right out over the top of your slide. Schedule D. Sorry? Schedule D, case two. Case two, yeah. Schedule D, case two. Professional services company. them. 
Yeah, also the doctors and chemists kind of went that way to try and get around the other around cuts and stuff yeah, that yeah. they were chasing for before. Yeah. So they brought this in and then try and contract it again. Yeah. And it's going to make Okay, so let's go for our, a new one again. Let's go the figures that are here. Actually, like give you, uh, I'll make up questions at home just so you can, because this is, this is tough stuff like this. Close companies are charged, and all you're really getting is just to keep practicing over and over doing the it's this. <coughs> yeah, and I'll email them on to you, and you can practice them, and you email them back to me, and I can just see how you're going all right with them and stuff. Yeah? yeah. Instead of like just leaving it for two weeks and not doing anything. You, 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 it, 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 as I said, it attacks all it is, it's just practice, practice.